Hi everybody, today we are going to talk about seed germination. I am a seed and I met a beautiful flower today. How can I become as pretty as she? No worry, with germination you can also become a beautiful plant. Germination is a critical stage in the life cycle of many plants as it determines whether or not the seed will successfully establish and grow into a mature plant. It is a process by which a seed begins to grow and develop into a plant. During germination, seeds absorb water and begin to break down stored food reserves in order to support the growth of the developing in grow. There are several steps of developmental process. The first is the incubation. This is the initial stage where when water is absorbed by the seed coat, causing it to swell and soften. As a result, the seed becomes more permeable to gases and other substances necessary for germination. Once the seed has imbibed enough water, the enzymes within the seed are activated. These enzymes break down stored food reserves in the endosperm, as the, such as starch into simpler forms that can be used by the embryo for growth and development. Respiration is a process by which the seed utilizes the stored food reserves to produce energy for growth. Oxygen is absorbed by the seed and used in the breakdown of carbohydrates, releasing energy and producing carbon dioxide and water. Then is the emergence of radical. The radical is the first root of the seedling to emerge from the seed. It grows downwards into the soil and anchors the seedling in place. As the radical grows, it absorbs water and nutrients from the soil, which are transported to the rest of the developing, developing, developing seedling. As the radical continues to grow, the shoot also emerges from the seed. The shoot consists of the stem and the first leaves of the seedling. The stem grows upwards towards the light, while the leaves begin to photosynthesize and produce energy for the growing plant. Development of true leaves as the seedling continues to grow, it develops true leaves, which are the first leaves that resemble the adult leaves of the plant. So why is seed germination important? Seed germination is a complex developmental process that is critical for survival, growth, and reproduction of plants. From the moment the seed is planted, it begins a journey that will ultimately determine whether it will sprout and develop into a mature plant capable of generating new seeds. One of the key biological significance of seed germination is that it is a means by which plants establish themselves and thrive their species. The seed contains all genetic information and resources necessary to produce new plant, but it must first undergo germination in order to start growing. Successful germination results in the emergence of a seedling, which over time may develop into a mature plant capable of reproducing and generating new seeds. But seed germination is not just important for plant reproduction, it is also essential for plant growth and survival. During germination, stored nutrients within the seeds are mobilized and used for fill early growth and development. As the seedling emerges from the soil, it must quickly establish a root system and start producing leaves in order to begin photosynthesis and produce energy. Without successful germination, the plant will not be able to generate the energy it needs to survive and grow. Seed germination also plays a crucial role in ecological systems such as seed dispersal and colonization. Seeds may be dispersed by wind, water, or animals, and successful germination is necessary to establish the new plant in a given location. Furthermore, some plant species may require specific conditions, such as fire or drought, in order to trigger germination, which can help them adapt to and thrive in their environment. Understanding the significance of seed germination can also help us appreciate the complexity and beauty of the nature world around us. This process is not just a simple matter of a seed turned into a plant, but rather a sequence of events that involve intricate molecular, cellular, and physiological processes. 
from the activation of enzymes that break down stored food reserves to the growth of the radical and the development of root and shoot system. Seed germination is a marvel of biological engineering. The process of seed germination is not only fascinating from a biological standpoint, but it also involves a complex interplay of physiological, cellular, molecular, and genetic processes. The first step in is imbibition, or the uptake of the water by the seed. It triggers a series of biochemical changes within the seed to break down stored nutrition and activate metabolic processes to initiate the germination. Then, enzymes such as amylase, proteins, and lipids are activated to break down stored carbon, hydrates, proteins, and lipids in the endosperm, endosperm and uh, cotyledons of the seed. This provides the energy and building blocks necessary for the developing embryo to grow and expand. As the stored nutrition are broken down, the embryo begins to under go cellular expansion and differentiation. Gibberellins, a class of plant hormones, are synthesized and released by the embryo and act to promote cell division and el elongation in the radical and shoot. This allows the radical to penetrate the soil and the shoot to emerge above ground. Abscisic acid, another plant hormone, plays an inhibitory role in the germination process. It promotes the production of the storage compounds and inhibits the synthesis of gibberellins. This helps to regulate the timing of germination and prevent premature germination under unfavorable conditions. At the cellular level, seed germination involves the differentiation and proliferation of cells, as well as changes in cell structure and function. For example, during radical emergence, Cells in the embryonic root differentiate into specialized cell types that allow the root to penetrate the soil. At the molecular level, seed germination is regulated by gene expression and protein synthesis. Many genes and proteins are involved in regulating different aspects of the germination process, such as nutrients mob mobilization, hormone signaling, and cell differentiation. Recent studies have identified some key genes and proteins involved in seed germination, such as those involved in cell wall metabolism and hormone signaling. Advances in molecular biology have allowed us to better understand the molecular mo mechanisms that control seed germination. Overall, the mechanistic understanding of seed germination is still evolving. But recent advances in our understanding of the molecular and genetic mechanisms underlying seed germination hold great promise for improving agriculture and our biotechnologies. Thank you.